we'll move on from that game. And we've we've another huge hurling game this weekend, and we have a, a special guest from Bruff coming into us. He's in the background there. I I can see him working away. So we we'll let in Roger McQueen of Bruff ahead of their All Ireland semi final this weekend against St Martin. So Kilkenny, Roger, can you hear us? I can. Yeah, Mass Jack Marty, how are you? Good, morning, good, good morning, good. Mark. How are you? Up? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Keep busy, keep busy, keep busy. Yeah, we can see, I, we can I, see you're busy. I'm the tractor, are you? I am, I am, I am, I am. I'm getting a break, I'm getting a break, I'm getting a break. Well, we're, we're delighted so, to have you on, you Roger, ahead of uh, the game Very against uh, St. Martins this weekend. I suppose, what's the mood like in the camp as you prepare for a huge game, an All-Ireland semi-final like? Uh, mood is good. Um, feels good buzz about it. Um, we're trying to say to the boys, same as the most defined, same as the semi-final, just enjoy it. That's the way we're looking forward to it. Because we're in huge bonus territory at, at this stage. Do you understand me? Like so we're all just looking forward to it at this stage. Yeah, I suppose having a, a big game like that, a Munster final under your belt, will you know it, it bodes well coming into an All Ireland semi-final that you have that big game experience. Yeah, we we've the cup down the cabin, if you understand me. But um it was it was great for us because the, the last time Bruff were in a, a Munster final, we lost by a point. And as Matt said last week, there was four involved with the same team, so it was great for them to get that back. Do you know what I mean? Like it was often losing by a point, but unbelievable winning by a point. If you understand me, do you know? Yeah, I, it's it's the beauty of the junior B that you'd have you know lads that have you know stuck around for ages and to see them get their just reward. But you do have a couple of young lads on the team, and overall the hurling and Bruff is definitely going the right direction with the. The 17s and the 19s and the Premier Intermediate, oh, and now oh, yourselves. The, the, the 19s was a huge win this year. Um, the boys win the Premier against Bon Lane. And uh, which we, I was telling Matt there, we, we 14 on the panel that are in college. So trying to get them to train you know, during midweek is virtually you know, it's hard enough, like, you know what I mean? But it's a great complaint at the same time trying to organise them in there on a Friday night or anything like that, you know? Yeah, I suppose when you're, when you're winning and you're going well, it's easier to get lads to train, and there's probably a, a big buzz at training as well. Oh, there's a great buzz. There's a great buzz around the town. Um, like we, we wanted to make a bit of a community spirit about it the whole time. And between young and old, like we were called to the school there the Tuesday after the Munster final and we got a great reception. And we, we called to a few elderly people around the parish as well. But like they were all delighted all together, I must say about it, you know. Yeah, I suppose it's important in, in a, a rural parish that wouldn't have huge numbers that, you know, everyone is rowing in the one direction. And you can see in a club like yourselves when people are, you know, going in the one direction that it can reap huge rewards as you stand an hour away from an All-Ireland final. Yeah, look, everyone around the parish, but I have to say, there was huge best wishes from other clubs around South Limerick, even further afield, you know, for us there in the Munster final, and there was huge congratulations afterwards, and just people wishing us look now this week there for the semi-final as well, like, you know, which is, which is great, which is great, you know, at this stage. Yeah, I'll throw you over to Matt there for a second, he's eager there to get a question in. Roger, Roger, you threw a couple of monkeys off the back during the year, like it was your third time going down to Kilede, um in, in the Munster Club Championship, and it was your first time winning a game when you beat Six Mile Bridge. You got beaten by Bradford in 2013, Kilavullen in 2017. Um, obviously a huge release, but a, a relief, but obviously another monkey that you got off your back was it, it, it was Bruff's third time in a Munster Club final, and as you said already, as you referenced, you lost to Capaquin in 2014 by a point. Um, you had previously lost the junior football final to, to, to Skelly Rangers. So, like, a huge relief for Bruff. And um, as you say, really into bonus territory now. You've got your first win in Kilidi. You've got your first Munster title. Yeah, as, as I keep saying, like, we're in bonus territory. But, like, it's a huge opportunity for us. Like, we know that ourselves. Like, these things don't come around too often. So, like, we're, we're trying to make the most of it, but we're emphasising to lads at the same time to enjoy it. Do you know, the, the, the pressure's off, if you understand me. Now, you know, we're all guns blazing for, for Sarda at the same time, but to enjoy it at the same time, don't get caught up in the occasion or anything like that. Roger, um, I, I saw both your games in it, um, uh, they, 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 and I, I spoke to you after the first game about it, was there was a lot of shortcomings that manifested themselves in the win over Six Mile Bridge, like yeah. the... There was the huge amount of wides. There was the inability to put Six Mile Bridge away um, when you had him on the rack, particularly in the second half. But um, a lot of that was rectified for the final against uh, against Tulla A lot yeah, of work we, done in the three weeks between. We, we, we did a lot of work in the three weeks, but you, you have to understand, against Six Mile Bridge, 
it was after the, the frosty weather. It was very hard to get out in the field and that we were explaining to you. And, and Six Mile Bridge had a match against uh, St. Brendan's at Kerry. Now, nothing, nothing beats match practice. You know that yourself. A match is worth 10, 10 training sessions. So we did, we did a bit of rust in out after the Six Mile Bridge. Like, we just barely got over the line, being honest, against Six Mile Bridge. We got two quick fire goals. You were there. And uh, that seemed to just seal the deal. But uh, the boys did improve. Like, Torless were a quality team. And like, it was a very evenly contested match the whole way through. And um, we cut down the wides, as you said yourself. But there's loads of room for improvement from us, and we know that as well. We, we spoke about that last couple of weeks as well. Like, we'll have to improve a lot now again when we're facing uh, the Kilkenny champions. We know that. No, you've seen, um, yeah, obviously, you've seen um, St. Martins. Um, they were previous winners of the competition. They won the Leinster and the All Ireland series in 2010, I think. Um, they beat St. Mary's Red Keel in the final. I was at it. It, it was. Um, I think it went to replay actually, if memory serves me correct. That's right. Um, yeah. you, you've, ob you've obviously seen him, and, uh, and um, probably it's going to be, an, if, perhaps it's going to be a step up, but you're going into the game as winners. Um, they're they're um, going into the game having lost the Leinster final. Yeah, but you'd obviously be wary of a wounded team, Matt. You know that yourself. And um, probably, I, I, say, I say myself, we're probably a small bit of underdogs, if you understand me, going into it. Because uh, they have great experience through their team. You, you, you just look at the names, Dowlings, you know, and Ryan's there in the Oak. Uh, they, have, they have a quality team altogether, and they have a quality men over them as well. I met him the last day there, Dowling as well. You know, they're pure hurling people. <laughs> Very like um, Turles Sarsfields. They just live for hurling. It's all hurling, hurling, hurling with them. Like. Yeah. That's it, Jack. You mentioned living there for for hurling, Roger. You know, would have got the the draw for the the junior championship only last week. There's there's no real break for you. But I suppose when you when you're winning and going well, it, it's you don't be wanting a break. You wanted to keep the the train going. Look, I'll be honest about it. Since that, we we four dairy farmers in our in our panel as well, Roger. Even and now it's our busiest time of the year, including myself. But someone said to me the other night, it, it, it couldn't happen at a worse time for you. But like. It, we we have to you know, embrace it if you understand me. Everything is a bonus we're saying the whole time. You know, you, you couldn't complain about it. Just roll with it. Do you understand me? I saw the draw last week, like and um you know, that's down the line. Do you understand me? I said look forward to next Saturday. Everything is for next Saturday if you understand me. You know, enjoy it, just what I be saying the whole time, you know. There plenty yeah. there's plenty of work done, do you know what I mean? So, uh, after that uh, it's up to the oh, 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 yeah. It must be a strange one in a way that obviously you go to start the year to win win your county championship, but you know you wouldn't really be having all Ireland aspirations. But now that you're there, you know you want it as badly as you wanted that county championship not so long ago. Oh yeah, but um, the start of the year like we were still hurting from the year before we lost we lost to Black Rock by four points, and our main objective was the south. You know, we didn't go further looking than that, and it was the county. And um, now we're in major bonus territory now after Munster, you know. But um, look, uh, we, we'll be giving it everything and, and training's gone well and everything like that. So hopefully Sunday and Saturday now we'll, we'll put a, 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 another good performance, you know. Yeah, and for you, you know, it, it is all about Saturday. But when you, when you mentioned Saturday with the Limerick Hurlers playing as well, you know, we, we'd expect to see one of your own, Sean Finn, play. And I think would be rem remiss not to ask about Sean, you know, like what he's done for Brough. He's probably the best defender in the country. He's... One of the best players. He must be nothing but proud of Sean and all he's done over the last four or five years. We're, we're pure proud of Sean. Would you believe he was at the he was at the Rahina last day, the Munster final last Matt, you met him as well. And uh, I did, I did indeed. Uh, yeah, but it was, he, he ran up to me after the match. Like, and next thing he was just swamped. He was swamped. I just tell you that. Uh, I have an aunt from uh, Milford in County Cork. But she's really a, 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 a Limerick woman, if you understand me. But she couldn't do her only to get a full John Finn the same day. Do you know, and he's great like that with young lads, even in the club or anything like that. He, he, I see Keen Lynch last Saturday night, you know, giving time for the younger people of Cork. And he's the same way. He, he, there's no bother at all. Huge compliment to all them boys. That they're so well, you know, they're big into the, the younger crowd coming through and they have time for everyone like that. Young and old, that must be said as well. So fair play to him, like, you know. Yeah, they're they're a credit to to themselves and to the parish. But I suppose for you, it's all about Saturday afternoon at two o'clock in Kalidi against St. Martin's. Roger, thank you very much for coming on and, and giving your time and the best look at this weekend. Oh, Hopefully, we'll be yeah. talking to you in the future with an All Ireland final. Look forward to. With the head of God, with the head of God. See you, Sarah, thank boys. you Very best of luck, best of luck, Roger, and see you on Saturday. Thanks, Talk man. To you soon.